Hello everybody and welcome, I'm Eustace Farmer and this is Goldcrest Valley Farming Simulator 2017 and this is not my first Let's Play. <laughs> I have yet to do one um, and today's going to be no different. Um, I have done some live streams though, however, so please join me when I'm live streaming and you can also check out my live stream archive playlist on my channel. Um, I post all my previous ones there. Okay, so what are we going to be doing here today? Well, I've gotten some questions about the oilseed radish, and I've also found out some interesting little things on my own, and it's raised a couple of questions of my own as well. So I thought we would try to answer some of those today. So first of all, for those that don't know what oilseed radish is used for in the game, it's a cover crop, which means you're growing a cheap crop just to cultivate in the ground to enhance the nutrients of the soil to produce a better yield on your main crop. So that's what you do with the oilseed radish. We're going to cultivate it right into the ground. <laughs> so that being said, if you're one that plays the game and you don't add in money, you want to earn your money right from the very start, then you need to be aware of something with the equipment. As you see here, I've noticed with at least all the seed machines that I've used in the game, so I'm going to go ahead and say all of them across the board, they come with the ability to not only seed the land, but to fertilize it at the same time. You cannot, to my knowledge, I have seen no option to turn the fertilization off on the fly. So once you fill it up with fertilizer, that's it. It's going to fertilize when you turn on the seed machine. Um, well, that's a problem if you're planting oilseed radish because you're spending a lot of money putting fertilizer into the soil when you're planting a fertilized crop. So you're spending money on the seeds to plant the oilseed radish and you're spending money on the fertilizer that you're putting over it. So it's redundant and it's not cost effective to do that. So how do you remedy that problem? You have to designate a seed machine that you do not put fertilizer in. You just want to have seed. So that's what I did here with this one. And I just love this machine, man. Check that out. Got the cool lights in the back and everything. <laughs> and it works really well, too. <laughs> but it's the bomb. So I put the placeable seed and fertilizer tanks over there, as you see, the three white tanks. And I place the seed tank far enough away where if I hit a button by accident, I won't also fill up fertilizer. Because <laughs> that can happen. Um, so I would do the same if you're purchasing the seed and fertilizer refill uh, containers at the shop. Place them far enough apart where you don't fill up another one by accident. And I have planted a strip here, and this is what I figured we would do. I'll go ahead, plant the oilseed radish, we'll cultivate it into the soil, and then we'll plant some barley over that. And then we will do two more liquid fertilization steps because I figure that's really what's expected because they want you to fertilize the crop three times if you have that option turned on. So we'll do this one as counted as one fertilization step and then we'll do two more with the liquid fertilizer and then we'll check, we'll harvest it and we'll see what our yield is. I'll quit the game without saving, we'll come back and we will plant the barley in the traditional way before oilseed radish came into the game. So we'll plant our barley, and we'll do our three fertilization steps, and we'll harvest it, and we'll compare the yield. And we'll see if it's worthwhile. So I think this would really prove that is it worth the effort and the expense to go through planting it, spending the time on it, or not. So that remains to be seen. It's a fun little crop to do, I will admit. It's a, and if you like to do the extra steps and really work a field, then that's cool man I mean go right ahead but if you're money conscious you know if you're really watching your pennies we're gonna see if it's really worthwhile spending the money to do it okay so let's go ahead and begin let me go ahead and save there we go let's power on our cedar and another thing is I'm gonna put it on a worker just to keep it straight but that's one thing you're not going to want to do when you're planting oilseed radish if, when you're playing the game seriously because you're spending money on the worker and that's going to negate any cost effectiveness you're getting 
by using the oil sea radish as a cover crop, if that makes uh, sense. So let's go ahead. Oh, is he going to... Maybe the tank is empty. Not, it ain't, oh, 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 oh. Look at that there. So this thing won't even run on a worker unless I've got both tanks filled up. Let me look in the options. Yeah, because I have helper seed refill off, he refuses to work because <laughs> there's no fertilizer. Um, if I turn it on, then they're going to charge you a phenomenal amount of money for the worker to refill the sewing machine. So that option is out off the table. So there you go. You really kind of have no choice. <laughs> and like I say, lift sewer. Let's look at the second options. If you hit your left click button, you usually get a, another sub menu. Um, yeah, so see, I don't see any option to turn off the seed machine and the fertilize thing individually. And I did look when it was full. Okay. So let's get that last little strip. We'll make sure we're right on the line. That way we can duplicate this properly the next time. All right, let's see. Try to get as close as we can. There we go. I probably should have left like one furrow, but as long as we're right on the line, we'll know when we do the next step. And if I go a sixteenth of an inch over, it's really not going to make a dr dramatic difference in the yield. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Okay, so the next step to do is to grow the oilseed radish, and then we will cultivate it down in. Okay, so here we are. The oilseed radish has grown, and it did um, come up at 2,300 hours. I just let it go a little bit so we can have a little bit more daylight. Um, there's one thing I do want to show you, though. Uh, when you plant the radish, and I don't know if this is a bug in the game, but this kind of certainly makes sense to me, so I highly doubt it. It's going to come up as growing, green. Um, it's not going to get ready to harvest because it's not a harvestable crop. So when it hits green, you can go ahead and stop your time. If you're speeding up time, you can go ahead and put it on normal because that's it. It's done doing what it uh, has to do. Now, another thing while I'm here, just so you know, if you're watching, don't be alarmed. Um, fields that you do not own, as you probably already know in the game, the farmers will work their own fields. So you're going to see these fields go through different stages. So you're going to see s crops come and go, you know, so they'll disappear and reappear even as something else. So this could be corn. The next time it could be sugar beet. So don't be alarmed. <laughs> okay, so here we are, field 14, right there. And as you see, this strip is, is green, bright green, so we're ready to go. Um, another nice feature... And excuse the ridiculous little cultivator on the back of this massive tractor. <laughs> I was thinking about that, and I was like, well, I said, I don't want to use a massive cultivator because I don't want to cultivate past where we're experimenting. Um, another thing is, if you have the crop destruction mod on, the oilseed radish is impervious to that. It acts like, you know, sugar beet in 15 and never recognized the crop destruction. So that's good because... <laughs> Otherwise, you'd be running over your cover crop. Okay, let's go ahead and let's do a proper job here. Let's get on the edge and get it right in there. Okay, I'm back. So I cultivated it all in. It looks great. Um, there is one thing that I did do just to show you. Um... Here's what the soil looks like after the radish has been cultivated in. Here's a strip that I cultivated just bare without radish. You will not see a difference in soil color. Okay? What you have to do is rely on your um, in-game uh, map information. So if you go to uh, Map Overview Soil Composition, you will see that indeed that little strip is recognized now as fertilized. So and it's fertilized once. Here's the light blue. As you go through the other two stages, 
it will change color. This is the last step, the dark blue, and you will know that your field has been fertilized properly and you will get your maximum yield. So we have two more steps of fertilization to do, which we will do with the liquid. So that's here. Okay, so let's go ahead. I have it set to barley. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Turn my headlights on. So I'll go ahead and get this barley all planted up. And then I'll come back to you uh, when it's finished. Now, some of you may already be asking the question, well, why didn't I just make a second strip and compare that way? Because I want the information that we get out of this to be as identical as possible. So that's why I'm doing it with one strip and the quit save technique because I want to really make sure that we do it under you know the exact conditions as possible so I've gone ahead and sped up time and it's at the first stage so after it hit the first stage I went into the menu and turned plant growth off so it seems now in the game when you have a fertilizer spreader to do solid fertilizer you have to fill it with such you can't interchange liquid and solid um, so this is for solid and you'll know because when you back up to the tank it will open when you back up to the other one it will not open <laughs> so go ahead and fill this up and this is a very slow process <laughs> but as you see it's filling up there's those white pellets really nice animation love that the machine opens up now that's really cool so I don't think we're gonna need much more than 21 percent so I'm going to go ahead and stop it. Now this is going to be the problem. Hopefully, well I'm saying it's going to be a problem, but I really don't know yet. Um, hopefully, crop destruction won't happen in its first stage. It probably will. But we're probably going to wipe out most of the stuff. But as long as we keep it the same, we'll get the same yield in the end. So now we'll just follow the same lines when it reaches its next stage of growth. Okay, so we've reached our next stage. It's noticeable if you watch it pop up. So it goes from little fuzzies to taller fuzzies. <laughs> it's really nice. There we go. I'm going to just hit this over here and see if there's a difference in color change. Yeah, there is. So when you use the liquid fertilizer, you could see a difference on the cultivated area, but not with the oilseed radish. Okay, so now that we've got our second fertilization process done, I'm going to go ahead and speed up time again, and we'll get to the last stage. Okay, so the next stage just happened. This is a lot of fun. I will say, doing the fertilizing and stuff, this is a lot of fun. There we go. Achievement unlocked. Make them grow. All right. <laughs> All right. So I'll go ahead and speed up time, and we'll get it going to the last steps here for harvest. Okay, folks. So here we are. Our crop is fully grown, and it's in its first stage of growth. So it's ready to be harvested. Um, obviously, these three colors are a countdown to on your way to being withered. So um, it's okay to do it in this um, stage here. So that's no problem. And we'll do that in the next one too, just to keep everything accurate. Now, one thing you're going to notice, if you're sitting here watching the map and waiting for the fields to change colors, I've noticed that you, it won't update as you sit here. You have to kind of refresh it. So if you just switch from like here to here, see, it'll, it'll refresh, it'll change. See, it says loading map. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's get this bad boy harvested. So one thing I am noticing though is um, I don't see an indicator showing down in the little box down there that your header is um, up or down. I love the animations. Overall they've really done a great job and I know bugs that we run into it's like with any game. Any game that comes out new there's just things that 
you, you're never going to know about until you get it out there in the public and people are playing it under different circumstances, on different types of uh, uh, computers and stuff. And all you can do is address them and issue patches. So it happens with every game. So, But it's good that they're working on stuff to fix it, which is, you know, very nice. Because that doesn't always happen with every game. There's games out there, they'll just throw the game out there and the heck with people and they don't bother fixing anything. <laughs> okay, so there we go. So we have a 15% um, yield. We got 1,920. I'm going to write it down. 1,920 liters of barley. Okay, so now I'll jump out and we'll come back to the fresh field and I'll do the whole process over again except I'll just plant and fertilize the traditional way. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll skip through that. You don't need to see that part and I'll come back when it's ready to harvest and we'll see the results. How's that sound? So it'll just be a second for you. <laughs> All right, so here we are. All ready to roll so let's get this harvested and see what we come up with and I did notice that indeed the header does show up in the little black box in the front where I was saying it didn't before it's kind of a little glitch so I hope that'll be fixed in the next patch or a future one uh, that would be really nice so on our last run we ended up with 15% 1920 liters so we did get a little bit more um, on the radish and you know to be fair I also had I, I noticed there was a little tiny bit extra going down the middle so this picked up even a little extra so and it still came in under the beautiful oilseed radish there you have it folks so is it really worthwhile doing I'm gonna have to say in my opinion it is and this is the reason why um, you're still doing four steps so on the traditional way you're going to um, you're going to sow then you're going to fertilize three times with the radish you're going to sow the radish and then you're going to cultivate and then spray twice that's still four steps now, the cultivation may take a little tiny bit longer than pulling the sprayer down the field because the sprayer will go faster. But I think the cost difference washes that away. If you think of what it costs for chemical fertilizer in this game versus the cost of the oilseed radish seed itself, that outweighs the little bit of maybe few minutes that it's going to cost you in time. <laughs> Um, especially if you use the placeables. They are going to charge you more money for refills on your seed and your fertilizers. Um, if you really want to cost savings, get the bag versions down at the store and cart them back and refill your equipment that way, and that's even a bigger cost savings. And then on top of that, because you're getting an increase in yield, you're going to get more money for the same amount of acreage at the sell point. So definitely a worthwhile crop to use um, if you're willing to invest a little bit of extra time to pull the cultivator. So that's, uh, that's my theory, guys. So if anybody has anything to the contrary, um, please do let me know down in the comments section or you can message me on Facebook however you want. And the same applies for questions. If there's anything that I've confused you about or I can help you with, Please do let me know. If I know the answer, I'm happy to tell you. If I don't know the answer, let's work together and sort it out and figure it out. Um, I love to help. So until we meet again, please take great care of yourself, okay? And bye-bye for now.